Okay, so in this video I want to cover the stuff you need to know in order to use the sound on sound feature on the Strymon Volante. It's a really great feature and I've been playing with it for the past three weeks that I've got this pedal and I can say that you can make some really cool stuff with it. So let's get into it. So in order to get into the sound on sound department all you have to do is press and hold the top button. When the light on the on button turns yellow it means that you are in sound on sound. Before you get in sound on sound, you can select the type of delay and the sound you want to have but the really cool feature is that you can change it afterwards. So when you get on sound on sound, these three buttons get a different purpose which is actually written above them. The top button becomes a splice which is the way you set your in and out points on your loop. After you've played and recorded your first loop, everything you play will be recorded over it unless you press and hold the old button which then turns off the recording head and allows you to play anything you want without it being recorded. The tap button is also the way you delete your loops after you're done playing them. Next to it we have the favorite switch which becomes the pause button. This has a dual function as all of these buttons do and when you hit it once it only pauses the sound but when you hold it pressed it actually does a ramp down speed effect which emulates the way a tape used to stop. The final switch here is the on switch which becomes the reverse button and it also has a dual function. As I said before, when you press and hold it, it starts blinking and this means you have disabled the recording heads and you can play anything you want above it. But when you press it once, it turns red and this is the tape reverse effect you can do with this. One of the great features of this pedal is the fact that when you are in sound on sound all these buttons can be used to adjust the delay sound you have so you can stack different delays and different rhythmic effects while looping. The only button that is dedicated to sound on sound when you get in this mode is this switch which changes between half speed, normal speed and double speed and what this does is that it changes the maximum length of the loop you can record. So when you are in double speed you can record for a maximum of 16 seconds, when you are in normal you can record for 32 seconds and when you are in half you can record for 64 seconds at most. This doesn't mean that you can stop the loop with the splice button whenever you want but it is the absolute maximum you can record at each level. A cool effect you can do with this button is that whenever you record at a set speed or length of a loop you can then slow it down or speed it up and record over it with a normal sound. You can actually do this multiple times and I will show you now what this does.
in order to access the loop settings, you have to press and hold these two buttons. When you do so, four knobs become something different and control aspects of the looping. So, if you press and hold these two buttons with the mechanics knob, you can adjust the speed of the ramp effect, which means how fast or slow this tape slow down effect will actually go. The repeat knob controls how many times your loop will play before degrading and fading out. Note that when you hold this button and disable the recording heads, this knob actually has no effect at all. The next button that controls the loop features is the echo level which controls how loud your recorded loop will play. And finally, you can use the spring knob in order to control the decay reverb in the loops. So, I don't know about you, but I find this feature on this pedal quite inspiring and very interesting and I want to explore all the stuff that you can do with it and how you can incorporate it in your own music. I hope that you found this video useful, but if I forgot something or I am wrong about anything that I said, let me know. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.